Welcome to Today's Issues, a community service program informing you of the issues and events in the four state area. Now, here are the issues for today on KNEO 91.7 FM. Good morning. This is Luke Taylor with your Capital Report update. We're speaking with State Representative Lane Roberts today, and he's with us to discuss what the committees are working on up at the state capitol right now, as well as the recent State of the State address from Governor Mike Parson. We'll let him tell you about that now. Hi, this is Representative Lane Roberts from House Street 161. Uh, despite the fact that we have had no debates on the floor yet with bills, committees have been very busy in the House. Uh, and I expect that next week we will see some uh, debates starting. One of those bills is likely to be uh, House Bill 1659, which is the crime bill that I introduced. Uh, that bill was voted out of the uh, Public Safety Crime Prevention Committee uh, unanimously. Uh, and I expect it to go to rules probably on Monday or Tuesday. So we may get a chance to debate that uh, uh, next week, and it could be one of the early bills to actually get out of the House. And last week, we, we heard the governor state the state address. I, I actually think that history will look back on uh, Governor Parsons, uh, his administration, uh, fairly favorably. Uh, while there have been hiccups and there were some pretty difficult times, particularly related to COVID, uh, generally speaking, I think the state's been left in much better shape. Uh, a couple of things stand out for me, things that, that as a legislature we had a hand in. Uh, one of those is the fact that uh, just a few years ago we had as high as 8,000 uh, abortions uh, occurring in Missouri annually. This past year there were none, uh, absolutely zero. Uh, and that is a direct result of the some of the right to right registration that we have supported and voted on, uh, and I, I feel very good about having taken part in that. In addition, we helped him fund uh, through the budget process uh, the repair of over a thousand bridges, uh, and nearly 50% of our highway system uh, has been repaired or renovated. You have to bear in mind that we have the seventh largest uh, highway system in the nation, and so that was no small undertaking to be able to accomplish all of that. And then, and then one of the things that really stuck out for me in this was the acknowledgement that our unemployment rate uh, is at about 2.1%, which is the lowest in the state's history and certainly one of the lowest in the entire nation. And we've done that while maintaining a AAA credit rating. Uh, and the governor uh, noted that we have reduced our debt over the past six years by $600 million. Uh, that's 53% less debt than we had in 2018 when I entered office. And so uh, while the governor stated the state address and certainly uh, spoke to what he has done, uh, I want to make sure that everyone understands that that's a cooperative effort uh, and it would not have happened without uh, the legislatures participating. And so uh, it, it feels pretty good to hear that we've had some successes uh, and I'm hoping we're going to have more. I anticipate a busy week next week uh, and look forward to talking with you again. 161st District State Representative Lane Roberts can be reached at his Jefferson City office at 573-751-3791. This has been Today's Issues. For more information about the issues you've just heard, call 417-451-5636. Today's Issues is presented as a public service of KNEO 91.7 FM, a sky-high radio network.